Hello and welcome to the playthrough version of my guide on the Carnelian Rising quest. This guide is slower paced and is more for playing along with me, so if you prefer to have a quicker summary of the main points of the quest then click the annotation on the screen now or the link in the description below. Just bear in mind while you're watching this that I've never done a playthrough guide before because I've never done quests right the first time through so sorry for any inconsistencies with this video. So the requirements are that you must have completed Hazeel Cult and the Blood Pact quest, as well as have level 33 Thieving and level 31 Construction, and you must also have at least 50 quest points. You don't need any particular items, but I would recommend bringing a method of banking such as a Tockle Zoe Ring or a Ring of Dueling, so that you can retrieve food later on in the quest, and you need inventory space for the rest of the quest, so that's why you don't bring any food with you to begin with. If you're confident in your abilities however, then you should find that the Enhanced Excalibur should provide enough healing for you. You may also want to bring some weight reduction gear as it will help with the boss at the end of the quest. Alright guys, so just to show you exactly where I'm stood and where to start this quest, I'm just going to throw up a map on screen right now so, so you can see where to start. It's in the southwestern corner of East Ardoin and it's just below the castle. So without further ado, let's talk to Xenia, I think that's pronounced. You can put a voice acting on if you want, but I'm not going to do that, just so you can hear me talking. So I'm just going to skip through this dialogue. Uh, okay, let's accept the quest. And then let's go inside and talk to Cyril Carnelian who is in this room over here blah 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 Okay, so once you've got this list, uh, just spam through a bit more dialogue. Okay, I'll come back later. And now we need to talk to the butler. Help me create a quest. Let's go. Okay, let's go and climb down this ladder right here. and then go to the east and enter this hole and I'll just try and skip through this cutscene for you alright then so let's leave and now the butler is no longer following us uh, oh, yes he is, never mind so what we want to do now is we need to search all the cupboards, drawers and stuff like that and we need to find items like this and we should end up with about 12 items in our inventory including this list so I'm just going to fast forward this bit Okay, just so you know, about seven buckets of water should do. Let's climb up the stairs and we shall search the rest of the house. Let's take these two dragon's heads. and that's some armor and a sword and you want to tear down this net curtain right here okay 
sorry, just a little edit here. I've had to come back and tell you that you should get the money pouch on the bed instead of this necklace on the little dresser here because that's just what you need. You'll see a necklace in my inventory for the majority of this video, but that's because I messed up and I didn't know, so sorry about that. Just make sure that you get this money pouch on the bed. So now let's search the other rooms. Okay, that's some red paint. Okay, we need to come back to this part later, so let's go back to the downstairs area. Make sure your inventory looks something like mine, and that you have the same amount of items. Uh, minus one bucket of water, because I've got eight and you only need seven. So what we're going to do <clears throat> Sorry, is we're going to take this spider right here and we'll build on this whole hot spot and we'll build a cobweb. We need to go back to the chef who is right here and we need to convince him to help out and we need to make him the drunken jailer option number two. Okie dokie. So let's go into the cave again. And now we should see some hot spots along the wall along here. So here's one. And this is what we need seven buckets of water for. It's the pool of water. Just build that. Okay, we can get rid of this one and we'll climb across the ledge to get past keep going along the path and there's another hot spot right here and I think this is what the red paint is for so let's just paint on some blood stains and then we'll keep going to the west And then we'll see these guard hotspots, just ignore these for now, and we'll go a bit further north. And there should be another hotspot here for decoration. Just build some more blood stains. You can build other things if you want, but this is just like what takes the least amount of resources and stuff like that. And okay. So here there's two goblins. Need to go and talk to them and we need to convince them to be the guards so we'll ask them to help you and it appears they want armor so just give them the armor that you've got earlier and just skip through the dialogue and choose option number one patrolling guards Okay, so they're off down the corridor to fill those uh, patrolling guard hotspots. So now <clears throat> I'm going to build a trap right here. And I'll just build a tripwire. And then just go a bit further east and we'll build another tripwire. Okay, that's a trip wires done. Let's cross over to the east again. And there is another hot spot right here for decoration. Just fill that in with whatever you want. I'm just going to use blood stains again because it takes the least resources. Okay, now head south and go down this eastern passage right here and go into this little passage down here that takes you to a separate little cave and there should be a mouse around here somewhere that you need to catch there it is catch it yeah 
Okay, now the wolves should start following you once you've taken the mouse. And just for safety, we're going to take from this spoil heap. There's just extra resources for uh, different traps if you want to build some different ones. So with the wolves, we're going to head back up to the north where we just were. And we're going to go even further north. Keep going north until you come to Guardian Dragon Hotspots and build on them. And then what you want to do is use the dragon heads in your inventory on the wolves. It looks kind of silly if you ask me, but it'll do. Okay, now to go back to the entrance. Alright, now we're going to get the chef to follow us. And then head back to where we were. Then you want to head north again towards the uh, so called dragons. But you want to stop here and build on this jailer hotspot. And the chef should just stay there. And now you want to go back to the entrance and back to the house. Okay, so we're just going to head back upstairs. And then we'll go upstairs again. And we need to talk to Sarsaparilla, or, or Sarsaparilla, sorry. And we need to try and convince her to be the damsel in distress. Say that you're directing a drama and ask if she'd like to take part. And choose Damsel in Distress. And get her to follow you. Head back downstairs. And downstairs again. Once you're inside the cave again, talk to Sarsa Perilla and get her to follow you again. Then head back to the dragons, same as before, taking the same route. And you'll see a build spot here, so I'll just build Damsel Hotspot. And then you just tie her up. Okay, okay. And now we're just going to give the money pouch to the chef. And that'll be a reward for the brat. So let's right click exit on the butler. And then we'll go and find the little brat.
also known as Philippe. And he should be right next to the stairs. Sorry, just another little edit because I messed up again. Uh, you'll, at this point you'll need to come back upstairs to the top level and open this wardrobe in the southwestern corner room and get the dress out of the wardrobe. You'll need this for later. Off for the quest. And now we need to pickpocket him. So you'll get something valuable. And then say a bag of sweets. Follow me. Okay, let's go through the tunnel again. All right, let's talk to him. And then he should follow us. Yep, there he is, right. So now we need to go through the cave. Do it for the sweets. I kind of want to punch him in the face. Is that wrong? He is a brat. Anyway, let's head on through the cave again with Philip following. And then we need to sneak past the guards. I say unnecessary killing is wrong. And we need to try and help him sneak past. But as you'll see in this cutscene, he can't sneak past. This quest is broken, apparently. And it's glitched. Oh, I didn't test the quest, so now we need to go and talk to the guards and try and distract them. Nope, talk to the other one. Okay, you need to talk to Slime Pits. Okay, so make sure you actually stay on the dialogue and don't just skip past it and then Philippe will eventually sneak past. Okay, let's head over to the tripwire. Now we need to get him to follow us again. Cross the tripwire, and he'll start complaining again because he's a brat. It's a fiendish trap. And then he'll just uh, cheat and cut the tripwire. wire. 
do the same again for the next one, just cross over it Okay, so at this point, make sure you give Philip the dress and the jug of wine that I've already given him. Okay, so he's going to put on a lovely little dress, talk to him again, and head north a bit, and then you'll get a cutscene. I said we'll get a cutscene. Basically he just gets the jailer drunk. And then he takes a money pouch as a reward. catch up with him and talk to him again then head north towards the beastly dragons at this point you may want to bank and get food which is why I've brought a tockle zo ring but otherwise let's continue Okay, so you've got to sort of taunt him into defeating the dragons, and you'll give him the sword. And then he'll defeat the so-called dragons. Oh, they're so cute. But then comes the hard part. Holy shit, you guys, it's a matriarch. <laughs> Okay, what you need to do here is click to attack. I said click to attack. Okay, you need to distract the wolf for him. And then just run around avoiding these balls that it keeps shooting out. I'll speed this bit up. And eventually, after a very long time, Philippe will defeat the Matriarch. Okay, and then he unties the damsel in distress. Okay, and Philippe has completed his quest. Now it's time for us to complete ours. Talk to the butler. Yes, let's go.
Okay, now we talk to Exenia. Spam through a lot of dialogue. So what happens now? Okay, she teleports away, and then we'll talk to Cyril again. Thank you for helping me, blah blah blah, there's your reward, hooray! So click continue, you might think, where's my rewards? They're in this chest right here. And you can just take them all out at your leisure. So I'll just take those. And if you want an extra reward, which I believe is also a completionist cape requirement, then follow these steps. First you will need to bank, and you may have already noticed that I've suddenly jumped into some gear, which is a melee setup. I would probably recommend using range for this, but I just don't like using range, so I'm just going to use melee. And in my inventory I've just got some food and some extremes and a spec recover. So once you've got all your food and gear ready, head downstairs again. And you need to talk to the chef, and he'll tell you about a magical uh, wolf. And I'm just going to spam through all these. Right, and now we're going to go back into the dungeon cave thingamabob. Now the reason I recommend using a range for this is because that white ball, well this fight is exactly the same as the matriarch from uh, earlier on in the video, but the white balls are magical attacks, but if you pray against mage then it'll become harder. I'll show you why. So I'm just gonna poot up. Holy shit. Right, I'm just gonna pray mage and I'll show you what happens. That happens and that's just completely unavoidable. So I am just going to run around and melee like crazy. In fact I'm gonna soul split as well just for safety. And just basically kill the matriarch, like so. This is why I'm recommending you use rain so you, do, you don't have to run around like a madman. I'll spec recover, get another spec off. Okay, so that's fairly easy, and then just finish off these wolves, and pick up this skull on the floor, then head back to where the chef was, it'll take you there, talk to the chef again. And now you get to pick a reward. Uh, at the time of making this, I believe the flax reward is the most valuable, but you may want to check prices later on just in case. So I'm going to take the flax. And there you go, that's the entire quest done. I hope this guide was somewhat useful. I've not done one of these sort of playthrough guides before because, well, I can never do the quest right the first time through. If you did like this guide, Give us a like and subscribe, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.